Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, which is like changing up rapidly. So I'm so thankful for all the support that I've been getting each and every day. You know, even though um, I might not hear directly from you, I can feel your presence which is, you know, it's still a blessing anyway. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video, or you just opening up, telling me about your empathic gift and how it has impacted your life in a positive way and headed you towards a, you know, a much better direction. Or how has it impacted your life in a negative way, but you had a promising positive outcome and it sent you in a positive direction. But if you feel like the video has just been very informative or just gave you a good vibe and you felt like you need to share it with a loved one or a friend, go ahead and do so. And if you feel also, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today and thank you so much for stopping by. And the meditation music that I'm listening to today, if this is your first time coming by my channel, I always try to put at least a positive thumbnail on my my videos and listen to a lot of positive meditation music in the back while i'm discussing things so the music that i'm listening to today is 432 hertz ambient angelic tones raised positive vibrations deep theta binary beats let go and i will post that link in the description box below and the video that i'm doing today is twin flame 101 empath please don't let your traumatic experience make you bitter towards life um yeah it was just like going through you know we go through things and you know it's just the best things that goes on through my life that's the reason why i make these videos <laughs> and obviously you know my mistakes is helping y'all so so much well my mistakes and my learning experiences has really been helping a lot of people as well as myself just basically heal and it's just like, you know, when you're going through things and you just ask God, you know, how long do you got to keep going through this? And, you know, you, you've been pushing out so much love and light. You've been pushing out so much positivity. And it's hard trying to be nice to people that wish harm on you. It's hard to be nice to people that, you know, sit that ne negative energy. So it's just like, it'll have some people, I, I've seen people walk around. Like I said, you know, and I've told people that I work, worked with, why you have to walk around looking like what you've been through? And they looked at me like, God, dog, what you talking about? <laughs> and I'm just like, you don't have to look like what you've been through. I think it's just the fact is, I mean, I understand when people go through things, it, it's, it can be really hard because there's times I don't walk around here looking like who did it what for after my father died. So I understand that. But as in being out and about, like with the, the situation I'm doing well, you know, with the career I'm pursuing, we can't tend to be negative like that. Like when I first started, you know, y'all see me the good, the bad, and the ugly. Y'all don't see me when I cried. When y'all don't see me when I don't strike with the hell off, you know, because it's like, you know, I don't, I'm usually trying not to be a confrontational person, but, you know, if somebody poke at me like that, hey, I'm going to poke back. You got time, but you know, especially if you come for me on my stuff, I'm gonna straight come back at you. But you know, it doesn't always have to be that way. It's just like when we go through things, you know, you ask the universe, you know, why do, why do you allow things like this to happen? And it always always have to be the circle of life. You know, you always have to deal with your karmic your karmic clearing or your karmatic past or whatever and it's just like we have to understand that you know life is not punishing us even though it might feel like that at times because it's just times I had to learn like as in growing up I the world was reacting to me you know the world was reacting to me and it's like dad you know I didn't uh I didn't deserve the things I was going through. Not that I'm saying that, you know, the world was reacting to me towards the situation I went through with my family, but it was like the aftermath of it. 
you know, um, you could have had a traumatic childhood where you've been abused your life, you know, whole life. Um, and it's not even about even being adopted. It could be children just growing up in a home that's very broken and being exposed to things that children should not be exposed to. And it was just like, um, tonight my daughter was having me watch uh, the Triple X, the rapper that passed away, Triple X, 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 I think that's how you say his name. And it was like, I told her about the dreams that I had um, about him a few months ago when he had, right when he had passed away. And it was things that I was telling my daughter that she knew there was no way of me knowing it. She's like, Mom, you're right, you know, from the things, because she's been, you know, following him for a long time. And it was like, I seen that child going through stuff, and it was like, during my dreams, I was allowed to see things that I did not want to see this child going through, even though he's not a child, but he's a child in my eyes. He's, you know, he's way younger than me. He's the same age as my middle daughter. So, it's just like seeing a child going through that, and it's just like, as an empath or a psychic medium, whatever you want to call it when you're able to see somebody's past and their past pain that has affected them in the worst kind of way. And it's just, it's a bittersweet situation with him because, you know, he didn't want people to think, you know, because this is how he rapped, this is exactly how his life has to be or it wants to be. It was just like he was lost at one time and things had made him look at life differently. And I, I mean, I get that, I understand that, and I don't know, you know, because even my daughter was like, Mom, why did he come to you and not to me? And I'm like, I don't know, but I don't know if it's just because the fact is that me and him probably shared the similar experiences, like with parents and stuff like that. I don't I don't know what that, that was, but I don't know, that's totally off the subject, but it was just like, basically, you know, he went through life that was lost, and we all went through life that is lost. And it's like we go through things and it might be the hardest experience you can go through because at that point in time, you're going to be mad. You're like, you know, I don't understand why things like this has to happen. I don't understand why they have to constantly go down like this. I've been right to these people or I've been right in this situation. And it doesn't even have to directly be it, you know, be towards people. It could just be, you know, a financial situation like, you know, you're trying to find a home or you're trying to keep above water with bills or car breaking down, appliances breaking down. You're trying to find money to cover all the bills and still, you know, able to eat and do the things you got to do during the week. You know, it's just, it'll make anything, a situation like that, that traumatic will make you look at life differently, make you be bitter. And it's not meant for us to be bitter from all the things we go through. I mean, there's times I get mad, I ain't going to lie i mean there's times i kick the scream and cry because it's just like when you can get that vibe knowing that people around you don't want right for you you know they would purposely anytime i would have a plan executed they would try their best to make sure that i'm stuck in the same situation but it's just like i have to be I have to be in that mindset that, you know what, no matter what you keep throwing at me, even though you might be able to slow my blessings down, you can't stop them. You cannot, you know, and you have to think that way. It's just like, especially when things go on and you really don't understand and the devil is really riding your back to make you want to give up. And there's times you might really want to, like, I'm, you know, F it, I'm ready to stop. You know, this is just too much. And it's like, you can't give up five minutes before the finish line you can't even though you might not see that finish line there's times I, I mean trust me where I was just like I don't know if I'm gonna make another video because it's becoming too much you know I pushed out so much love and light and I'm not seeing nothing transpiring out of this situation but I wasn't looking at the whole big picture I wasn't looking at the whole situation and I mean it was just something I had to really go through you know, I had to really go through that. I mean, there's days, I'll tell y'all real quick, hey, I might need to take a day off. And I feel really bad when I take a day off because I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> They're so used to getting videos from me every day. And I feel really bad when I don't have videos out that next day. Like, I'll tell y'all, I swear for now, I'm going to take two days off, knowing I'll take 24 hours. And through that 24 hours, I'm already thinking about the content that I'm getting ready to do on my videos for the next day. And I'm just like, 
Lava, you ain't even rest. <laughs> you ain't even rest because you already think about another content because your brothers and sisters might need it at that time. They might be going through something at that time. And I think about y'all like that on my off days. And it's just like, and that's a good thing because usually when it comes to a, any other job that I ain't like, if I, I was off, I'd be damned if I'm thinking about you. Because <laughs> you ain't thinking about me on your off day, so I don't want to be thinking about you. But it's like, this doesn't even seem like a job. It doesn't seem like a career. It's something that, you know, I've explored myself. And it's just like, you know, you can teach this to me in school or whatever. And it probably wouldn't intrigue me because it would have been off. It would have been like, I'm like, I don't get it the way you're explaining it to me. But if I go read up on something and just so happen I went through it and I experienced that, I want to be able to research things. I want to know why I'm going through things the way I'm going through them is it because of my negative thinking is just because of the people I'm around and it could be a little bit of both because with my situation it's a little bit of both you know because you can be tired of looking at a situation and just say I'm ready to go this has become too much even though you're pushed out love and light or whatever you just really trying to understand what the heck is the piece of this puzzle what is it meaning to why why do I have to keep going through this situation and over and over again just explain this to me you know, but I go through it and I try not to be mad at the world because it's just like, even though I've been blessed to where I can be able to see like people that are like minded like me that I'm able to, I'm, I'm spiritually connected to them. I don't know if it's like soul, soulmates, not like soul, soulmates, but like kindred souls. Like we've, we've, like, um, we've met before like we've hung out before even though there's a lot of people that I meet straight through YouTube too I'm like dang have I known you before like you know I don't understand do have we hung out you know we'll be really trying to figure that out but basically you know that's all I was trying to tell you I ain't trying to ramble on or whatever but you know we all go through things and you know like I tell y'all I keep it real you know I, I know I probably got people out watching my videos laughing at me I don't give a damn but you know we had to be doing something <laughs> coming over here visiting me but it's like we all have bad days we all have bad days i'm not gonna sit up here and be skinning and grinning in y'all's face when i know that i had a bad day i mean you know it happens but it's just like but when you're able to get back up and say you know what that might have made me mad at that moment and there's nothing i can do to change that but the thing is i'm not gonna give up let me just take off for the day because it's become too much and about to get me in my feelings. And you know, and the universe can understand that because you know when you get in your feelings, you be ready to go off. Like, and you be want to blame the next person. But there's sometimes we have to look at ourselves in the mirror like, what did I do to cause this situation to be like this the way it was? You know, and you really have to think that way. So I hope you were able to get something out of the content of my video. I'm just shocked it actually went through this long. But, you know, I asked the universe to give me the energy because I had my grandbaby all day. And it's like almost midnight and me doing these videos. Now, I've, lately I've been doing them in the morning. But it was just, you know, I needed my grandbaby to be here today. And, you know, it was a blessing I've been able to see her because, you know, I don't get to see her as much. So it was just a good time to actually spend some time with my grandbaby like that. So I spend time with my, my daughters as well. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. You know, it's in the middle of the week. Hump day. So I will see y'all later. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And drop me a line. I'll have a chance to get to know you as well as you get to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of my video. Or just, you know, you're opening up and telling me about your impact. And giving how it has impacted your life. And leading you towards a positive direction. Or, you know, if you need to share with a loved one or friend. Or you feel, just go ahead. Don't even feel like it. Just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on your, your social media favorites. And remember, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And as well, know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know that you always have somebody praying out there for your better days. Much love to you. Namaste. Love and light. Peace. And be wild.